here at LEAF. We're gonna be doing some service tech on the press. We're gonna do a thorough walkthrough and make sure that the pump is running good. We've had added some glitching on the uh, PSI, so we're gonna go over everything and make sure that the pump is working perfectly. We're here in the solventless lab at LEAF. This is the web. You'll be able to move the paddle at any point of the wash. You can move the paddle. Oh, yeah. Freely across oh. the whole board. Right now, I'm doing a service call on the press. It's been running for about a year and a half or so, pretty consistent, doing about you know three to five kilos a day. And over time, we've got to do some service looks on the hydraulic pump. Today we're going to get in here and open the pump and look at some calibrations. And if the pump cannot be fixed or tuned up to one PSI increments on the pressing cycle, then we'll go ahead and swap out the pump for a brand new one. looking at the second stage of the hydraulic fluid being moved and what that does is it allows you the pump to work in a slower speed. Hi, Good morning. Make sure that we, we look into the calibration internally to make sure that it is calibrated and moving the oil as slow as physically possible into the cylinder. It's gonna, yeah. Drop this to well, you kind of were doing that. You just, it was unnoticeable because it was overthrowing your number. Yeah. But it was already doing that, and that was kind of helping the movement. Because this is now gonna be way more accurate to, to its number. See, 170 to 160. It keeps it really close to that now. See, it only threw it to 420, but see, and it dropped immediately to 390. Way more accurate. So now you could be more accurate with the recipes. To start to play with that number. It already looks like it's pressing better too. Yeah, way better. Way more consistent. Yeah. Yeah, way more consistent flow too, right? See, I like the 30s across the board. Watch, you're gonna fall in love with it. Once you dial in your your 
your pressure is down to that 30 seconds across the board with whatever it's. Well, again, if you're doing 190, just go 45 across the board and watch. If you're doing 210, go 30s across the board. You'll see it. Once you dial in that, like make this, like, you know, the, again, you can take it real sensitive there now on that first stage. So, yeah, now I would eliminate the jolt. I would put five seconds, right, just to give it some motion towards it. You can make it less time to throw it at it. to take that time of those smaller stages and use the time to liquefy it and keep it regulating at a safe regulation and just adding more time on the first and second stage. Then from there on out should be a consistent ramp. Womp, 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 womp. You'll get it all out in a lot more thorough manner. Yeah, you see, I, I feel like that you're getting a lot better shade of light yellow. Yeah, it's not doing all the auto butter shit. Yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to try to tune one recipe real quick and see. Yeah, it's working a lot better. Mission complete. That was it. Just got done with the service tech doing a, a full calibration, a recalibration of the pump, and also the press itself, trying to identify why the pressure was minimally overthrowing the original set point pressure. There had to be a fine-tuned calibration reset in on the sensor itself for the PLC.